Yo guys, it's Daddy back here with another episode of Minecraft Let's Play and in this episode, we will basically be covering all the stuff that we have done in the past two weeks. Nothing that major really, but there are some, uh, some extra farms and the bridges on the central island are basically done as well. But there's uh, something that's not done yet and that's what I will do together with you guys in this episode and that is to update that map as you can see there. So I'm not sure whether you guys saw this map before in the last episode, I kind of forgot. But yeah, this is a 10 by 10 map, which uh, I probably need a building block. So be right back. Alright guys, as I said, this is a 10 by 10 map. And we will be updating some parts of it. So let us pick up the spots. I think I gotta move forward here a bit. So that will be the squid farm area. Probably this three. I didn't pick that one up, that's fine. And uh, the bridge as well, so the central island. Oh, oops, that's not supposed to happen. So this one, this one, and this one. And for good measure, I'll take this one as well. So that should be all that we need to update for this episode. <coughs> Just make sure we got all the maps. How many pieces is that? Four, five, six, seven, and yes, we do have seven. So let us begin, shall we? So, first of all, the central island, as you can see the bridges here, done by Kiri got cut, and she did a pretty good job here, she got some vines, some leaves, it looks pretty natural, and what we have to do in the next episode will be to terraform this, and eventually we'll be building a, uh, what's it called, a pagoda, I'm not sure that we'll be doing that in the next episode or the episode after that, so you guys gotta stay tuned for that, so, let us get the map, I'm not sure which one is it. Okay, the base, there's one here for Adam's base. Oh god, I fell in the hole. Like, please, let me get out. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> okay, this one seems to be updated, so I think it should be fine. This Adam's first base, yeah, it's definitely updated. This one is the one below. This one seems updated as well, so that's kind of good. It updated instantly for some reason. Okay, this is the squid farm one. Uh, this is the squid farm one. Are these squid farms as well? Okay, no, that's not a squid farm. This is over here, if I recall. Should be just further up, so we have to take the bridge. I hear a phantom. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get us. So as you can see, the bridge is very well lit up as well, which is good detail. And yeah. So we got the last two bridges here. Those are the first two bridges that we did, so that should be right updated. Alright, there you go. So last three maps, so this is the squid farm area. But before we go to the squid farm, let us look at the project board real quick, right? So as you can see, we it's night time, but our base is quite well lit with the sea lanterns as well as the torches on some places, which I still have not removed. So these moss carpets have sea lanterns below it. There you go, as you can see. And they provide some invisible lighting, so you don't really see them. You try not to see them more like, but yeah. It looks pretty okay as long as I texture them, but I haven't textured them yet. So it kind of looks weird for now. But yeah, this is the project board, as you can see, it's been reduced to six items. We got to terraform the central island, we gotta make a sky pillar, and you know with a sky pillar comes a Rayquaza. So if you guys don't know about a Rayquaza, it's a Pokemon. And it's a legendary Pokemon. So we're gonna make that on the central island with the sky pillar, and it's gonna look pretty sick. But the question is, the amount of building blocks that we need for it is gonna be insane, and the terraforming as well is gonna be insane. But yeah, these is basically the main things that are gonna go in the central island. Besides that, that map area that you see over there is going to be transformed into a room. I don't know what design we're going to go with, but it's going to be transformed into a room. And as for farms, we have the Wither Skeleton farm as well as Guardian farm left. So yeah, these two... I'm not sure about Wither Skeleton farm being an XP farm, but I know the Guardian farm can definitely be an XP farm. Uh, even though we already have the Enderman farm, but yeah, a little more doesn't hurt. Alright guys, so before heading to the Squid farm, let's analyze some zombies here and show you guys what we did around the iron farm. So as you guys know, there's a little bridge there that's connecting the iron farm to the central island. And there's a little tiny stairs there. And there are more stairs here that leads all the way back up to our base. And let me unalive this guy as well. Let's not get snuck up by any more creepers. All right, 
So this goes all the way down to a path that leads to the iron farm and in the iron farm area and the trading hall, I pretty much made a kind of a flooring. Looks pretty decent I guess, but yeah that's about it that we did in this area. So now the central island is linked to the iron farm which is linked to our base. So everything's linked up very nicely. And now we're gonna show you guys the squid farm after we get the... Oh wait, the phantom didn't come for us. Alright, that's great. So, I have not linked the iron farm to the squid farm, cactus farm, and tree farm yet. So we gotta find a way to deal with that. But for now, I have to remove all these chests and I don't know, probably tire farm something around this area. A uh, little zombie here. So yeah, let's go to the tree farm and uh, there's some ton of creepers over there. Let's avoid them. Okay, so you guys have seen the tree farm in the last episode. So in this episode, I'll show you guys the... That's a witch. I'll show you guys the cactus farm and the squid farm. Hopefully not to get destroyed by this witch. Okay, so it's a pretty simple cactus farm. Oh my god, I already saw that come. Okay, let me get it real quick. There you go. So, as you can see, we got quite a bit of cacti in here. So this farm basically works on the principle that cactuses will... Cactuses? Cacti will break when they grow up with a block next to them. So in this case, the block is a fence. So when they grow up, the fence breaks the second block on top of it and it just drops into the water stream, into the hoppers in the center. So yeah, pretty simple cactus farm as you can see. And also, this part here, as you can see on the map, used to be a river and this river has now been covered up with sand. So to make myself be a little bit on the safer side, let's climb up this thing and then we can update the map as we go. And uh, yeah, that looks about right. It's cut off halfway. So yeah, this part looks a bit weird. Maybe I should do a little bit more. Just to cover that tiny bit, which I can't really touch to show you guys. Can I? Can I? Nah, I can't. But you guys saw see that little pocket there. So maybe I should go a bit further and cover up that spot and it will look a bit better. But yeah, this is a squid farm. This is the sort of AFK area that I had before I covered up the ocean. Because the, the, the river, more like. Because the squids keep spawning there and pretty much ruins the efficiency of the farm. So I was getting about like 5 stacks an hour. But with this cover up, I don't even need to stand here. I can literally go down there and it would give me about, uh, what's that called? About 30 something stacks an hour, which is pretty good. So there you go, I've up, up, updated that part. Probably just cover up this little part here and this part as well. And it should look pretty good. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs down there. Okay, let me show you guys the loot down here. I've recently collected about 35 stacks of dye, black uh, squid ink, which got converted to black dye. And here we have some dirt, which I dropped because I had way too much dye to bring back. So as you can see, just, just spending a little bit of time up there gave me quite a bit of dye already. There's probably about half a stack worth of black dye there. But yeah, just AFK, AFK, AFK there for an hour gives you about 35 stacks. And that's pretty good. So yeah, I think that's about it for this episode. That's pretty much all that I've got covered for this episode. And what we have done for the past two weeks. God damn, there's a lot of mobs. Okay, let us fly out here and go back into the base. And probably the next project, aside from uh, the central tower thing would be to link this iron farm straight into our sorting system because if it's not linked you would have to constantly go down in here to make sure it's not clogged up with items because this gets filled up pretty quick sometimes especially when you're doing projects around this area so if i can clear this and link this hopper straight into our sorting system into the iron chest and of course filter out the poppies we will be golden we don't even need to do anything in the iron farm for the iron to filter into our straight into our sorting system. I can't even speak right now, guys. Alright, so let's head back into our base. We have not done anything in the never yet, so... This would be... An update episode... That covers... Oh yeah, we need to put back the map. We need to put back the map. Let's put back the map real quick. Probably need this. And then you can see the so-called ugly sand river but yeah the sand river will probably be covered up by dirt which would occasionally not occasionally which will subsequently be covered with grass because that's how minecraft works okay so let us get to the river part here 
So this should be on this side, this one is on the middle, and this one's here. There you go. Big, big, big river. Okay, this is a bit more confusing. Okay, this is in the central island, so it should be not here. Screwed up there. Should be here. Yep. Okay, this one is on this one, if I recall. Okay, so we have two more. This will be Adib's base, which is here, and this is the top one. And there you go, so the finished map, I mean it's not finished, really, because it will never be finished, it will all constantly be updated, this map here. So yeah, the island's getting pretty pretty decorative right now, Adib's base still is not completed, but all the farms up in this area are pretty much done. Mm, yeah, I think that should be it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Next thing will be the central island and as well as linking the iron farm. And with that being said, you guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the rest of my content as usual, guys. So if you guys want to see me build anything on this uh, world, do let me know. I'll take a look at your comments and I'll see what I can do about it. Because, well, it's Minecraft. You can pretty much build whatever you want. So if you guys want to see something in here, just do drop a comment and I'll try my best to build it in this world wherever I see it fit. Well, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.